Hello world. We're in the parking lot of a actual some kind of hotel, I forgot what the name of it is. We're getting ready to leave here. Um, going towards the keys today and try and find some work. Basically try to go from business to business asking if they'll give us work for a couple of days and a place to stay maybe. Or we'll just try to make some connections, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we might see Mark here going in and out trying to fix the car before they I'm just sitting here getting some filming done. Like, <laughs> this is just, this is orange. Yeah, it's a drink that I used to drink in France a lot when I was little, and it's pretty much European. Like, I, I'm surprised I even found it here in America. Uh, I suppose we must have been in the foreign section or something. But oh, I'm so excited. Mm. Oh, watch it! They probably replaced the sugar with corn syrup. Cause yep, yep, they did. They really did. So technically this is not the same thing I used to drink in France because the shit I used to drink in France had real sugar in it. But you know, we're in America, so, you know. Why is America like the, the only country that I know of that like doesn't put real sugar in their like drinks and their products? It's like all corn because syrup. Because Mark, we're the most unhealthy nation ever. We have the resources to be healthy, but nah. No, no time for that apparently. Well, you know, it's it's not that hard, you know. Put sugar instead of corn syrup. Like, how hard is it to obtain sugar? It's not. Apparently, it's pretty hard for them. But you know. went into the, the restaurant here, uh, Mermaid Cafe apparently actually, and uh, it seemed to be pretty uh, hippie type people, the kind of people would be open to some possibilities here. But they told us to come back when it's uh, not so slammed around 4 o'clock, so I think... Uh, we're gonna go see the sites probably. Go see well, yeah, we might go see the sites and we might try connecting with a few more people before we go back there and try and see what, you know, what we can get out of this town. We're in Key Largo's, right? Yeah. Key Largo. Key Largo's. There you go. Let's go. So me and Mark over here are pretty excited because uh, we uh, we're just sitting in the parking lot of a Publix here. We figured out a lot of cool things to do um, while we wait on some people here to get some things to do tonight. Um, a couple things. We're actually going to go towards a, a, a state park here where we're going to see some coral reefs, which that's going to be pretty amazing, I hope. And uh, as well as that, just on Facebook here, I was talking to some people and we're going to get a intro video for this vlog. Let's try to try make this a little bit more official for you guys. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty exciting. On the left. We got it, DPS. Wow, this is beautiful. How do you like it? I think it's gorgeous.
but we somehow managed to lose the map from no, walking no, no, to no, the no. car. Let's reiterate that. Mark managed to lose the map. <laughs> he had one job, <laughs> and it was in his hand, and he let go of it. <laughs> so now we're stuck using intuition. Nature is cool. Nature is fun. Na, na, na. Nature! <laughs> Nature! <laughs> Come on, man, you're, uh, you're going on a little, giving us a little show. I'm walking on a trail with my friend Julian. I can't think of words that rhyme, no, no. But they but don't have to. At least to you're right on time. <laughs> with my rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good man. <laughs> That tripod looks like a straight up rifle when you're <laughs> walking. Yeah, there you go. And then you look like a totally different mark than I know. There's something going on in there. Mark? You have a gun? Yes, drill sergeant. Whatever is in there is probably after us. Be wary. Thanks, sir. I just know a wild hippie will come out of this forest at any moment and try to attack us with some LSD. <laughs> He'll throw marijuanas at us so we can't think clearly. We have to get to the safety, Sarge. All right, brother. <laughs> Here we are going through the wild jungles of Tampa Bay. Here we have some information. It's uh, the first sign that you're you're around some hippie shit. Oh my God! They're in the trees! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mark, you know what I heard? I heard they were cutting our military funding. You know what I think that might mean? Julian, stop. They it. might be trying to give us health care. Health care, Mark. What are Julian. we gonna do with healthcare, Mark? <laughs> Julian. What the fuck is healthcare for? <laughs> Okay, Julian, do you want to go ahead and explain what happened with the Mermaid Cafe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me get this scrape out of my throat. All right. So, um, we just put in applications with the, the Mermaid Cafe. I think, uh, the, the boss wasn't there, so we had to put applications in, which is kind of annoying to do, I think, for us, because it's hard to explain what we're doing through an application. But we did it anyway, and I think we had a pretty good connection with the people in there. And uh, they said they just hired a dishwasher, so I don't believe they need anything with the restaurant, but I tried to wiggle my way in there for some different kind of work and see if any of the employees or anyone really needed anything else or anything so that we could barter and trade and maybe get a place to sleep or some food or a good, just a good meal with some people. and. Uh, get some interesting things going on. He suggested we go to this place called Florida Bay Outfitters, which apparently help out a lot of people very often um, who need work or who need anything. So we're gonna go over there and try to talk to them and see what's, what's going on with that. I think we got this. Yeah. Do you believe in us, Mark? Of course I do. Do you think I would come on, come with you on this adventure if I didn't believe in us? No, you would not. No, you would not. Mark. It takes a nut to believe in me. But it's a good thing to believe in me. Because I believe we'll go great places together. <laughs> Julian? 
Look where we are. <laughs> just had some really cool, really cool yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just uh, we just came back from uh, well, we just left Florida Bay Outfitters where the where the mermaid place told us to go to, and um, we talked to a couple people in there, and it turns out we might have a boat to stay on tonight or tomorrow night. It's either tonight or tomorrow night where this guy is willing to let us sleep on his boat. Uh, for nothing really and just for the connection we made with them hey guys it's Julian and uh, Mark. Mark over here and uh, we'd just like to give you a little message uh, uh, we actually just want to tell you that uh, what's been going on and kind of give you a little update on what's happening just in these next few days and what's been going on this past night and so so basically we actually slept on that boat last night we met um, we met this young couple, uh, Jacob, yeah, and Kate. Jacob and Caitlin. Yeah, and they're uh, they're very nice people, and they let us um, spend a night on their little sailboat and spend some time uh, talking to them, uh, getting to know them, and uh, getting to know their story. And it's pretty crazy and all that. So mm -hmm. um, we'll actually be doing a video on them tomorrow, just them ex like ex them explaining how they came to Florida because it's like it's really interesting. They told us. Uh, last night just some of the things they had to say was like we just talked for hours and hours just about different things different experiences they had gone through we actually ended up staying pretty staying up pretty late uh, talking about different things so we kind of took the day off to loaf around and look at the the ocean and chill out on the boat for the day and go swimming and all that so um, we woke up and found Mark meditating which was a very interesting sight. So <laughs> that actually explains the uh, the massive sunburn yeah. that I have all over. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> but, you know, so but we made sure to charge all our devices this time so that uh, tomorrow morning when the sun comes up again and we're on the boat again, we can actually show you guys around and have you meet uh, Jacob and Caitlin. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But we'll make sure to keep you updated and just stay tuned because there'll be plenty more to come. Yes, you know it. <laughs> and uh, just a little update as well. Um, tomorrow we might be going to Key West. Well, actually, we probably are going to Key West. And uh, tomorrow night, uh, I think, will be our last night on this boat because they gave us the opportunity to stay for a little while. And um, after that, uh, we might be heading towards New Orleans, trying to get out of Florida a little bit. It's pretty expensive here. so. Uh, but you never know. Uh, we we always change our minds on things. That's how that's how we're doing this. That's why the show's called. We'll figure it out because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> so um, stay tuned and uh, be sure to stay updated and all that. So have a good one. Yeah, have a good one. Oh no, you're fine.